Welcome to this week's episode of Duck Chatter. On this week's episode, we're gonna be watching some older footage from Mallard Madness 7, The Real Deal. The hunt's called Go Big or Go Home. This is probably one of my favorite hunts of all time so far. Um, the birds were traveling birds, big, large groups. We were doing some power calling to get them down, and once we broke them, they come right in like nobody's business, and it was brutal pillow fight Feathers flying everywhere. I hope you enjoy it. I sure know I did. Thank you. This morning, the guys let me sleep in a little bit. Had a little, pretty long trip coming up here, about two hours. And uh, they came out and got the hoe. Brent did a little scouting, found some ducks over here. And we got a good chance to kill a good mess of ducks today. I don't know how many hunters we have. We got about 13 or 14, I think. But we're trying to get a big bunch of ducks. You know what they say, go big or go home? We're going big today. We're hoping to go home with 13 or 14, 15 limits. However many people we got out here. We got a crew, but we're going to do some loud calling and we're going to get it done. Predicting this year, Rick, on it all. Well, not the we whole, but I mean, if we just... got some cold weather, we're going to kill some ducks. But if we have a year like last year where we don't have the cold weather and no water, too bad. You gotta have one of the two, if not both of them. Yeah. Alright, let's go and shoot if you can see them. I can't see them. I can't see them. Get them up and blow on them since they shot. That was smacking. That was right at shooting hours and there were some feathers flying. I <laughs> go on. Here. Alright, here they come guys. Where they at? Right there. Coming around the north end. Right here, Nick. Right here. Right here. <laughs> they should have shot him. Yeah. Go ahead. Y'all get him up and shoot him. Get him up. Get him up and shoot him. Wear them out, guys. I think they killed every one of them. I think they killed every single one of them. Be on the lookout. I think we need to just be calling. Yeah. Calling loud and loud and loud and just whatever comes, coming. All right, let's get back calling. Everybody, Everybody call. Start calling. Shoot him up, boys. Yep. If they did, it's only going to be about a half a dozen eggs I'm next year. I'm going to say that we probably killed close to 20 out of that. Dude, if, what? If at least 20 out of that. They were falling, they were falling everywhere. <laughs> go big or go home. That's right. <laughs> hey, where y'all putting this? 
Okay, we're, we're gonna hang them on the landing right over here, bro. Man, y'all was mopping them up on that side, wasn't you? <laughs> I, I told you one doesn't get out that end. We might carry them down there. I'm talking. We probably need somebody to get a boat. Uh, I'll be the volunteer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't look so enthusiastic. <laughs> we ain't got to kill another duck. I've seen enough. <laughs> Man, it can only take so much death in one day. I'm just glad that they're here and they want to know if nothing. Oh, yeah, there's another one back here, too. They broke. Y'all want some good, man. Here they come. This is the big group, guys. They're coming in. Wear them out down there, guys. And that's breaking some There's ducks down the hard way and mess. He don't. He did. <laughs> no, we never made it out. I could have shot it at him. Like I told you this morning, go big or go home. When you got 15 guys out here calling, we pulled ducks from a half a mile away. Those circle twice came straight in. If, it, if we get one or two more bunches in, we're going to have 60. It's looking good. All right, bring them on in here. <laughs> I missed two times, 10 yards. <laughs> they're calling birds. They're, they're coming. Mash on them, mash. Great. Did you shoot that time? You know you got. Uh, no, I got six. No, I didn't. All I could see was a hen. I didn't shoot. We got enough hens. He was right here. Here. There you go, there's another group we call from about a half a mile away. That power calling, especially early in the season, pays off. So the more people you got calling, the better chance you got of swinging those long ducks to you. <laughs> You kill any of those? Have y'all got any down there at all? All right, we're trying to just keep up with them. Okay, okay. they've got five down there. Yeah. Twenty more. One more group. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Two drinks. 
There's three drags. Three drags. Go ahead and get them. Shoot them. Four drags. Four drags. Four drags. Four drags. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that one come up out there. Get that cripple. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Get one up and try it. Really? Yeah. That's a No. I've shot plenty of them. It's a little small bunch. It's had about seven in it. They made a half a circle come straight in. Four drakes is all that came in. Lucky enough, we got all four of them. Is that all of them? Call, 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 call. One more time. That's all. There's two right here for me. You want them to shoot? Yeah, go ahead and shoot them. Hit them up, guys, down there. Y'all get them. Y'all get the That last group had about eight or ten ducks on it. The winds come around now out of the south and they landed off of us. You know, the weatherman said we were going to have a north wind today, and of course it's not now. South. They landed off of us, but we were able to get two out of the far end down there. This next bunch, we're going to work on them though. Yeah, unless they're down there. Here they come.
shooting their flyouts down there. <laughs> Awesome. All right, there's that's what you call building right there. Green on the other side. That's hard to beat. That's how you build right there. Yes, sir. That's that's hard to beat. Beat. Be patient, let them build. That last group, we let two little groups come in and land. And typically, if you get greedy like that, you come up with nothing. But we let two groups, little ones, like six or eight. Nine, come in, get out, and then we got the mother load in, point blank. That time it worked out. I'd do it, Big Daddy, won't it? That's ugly. No, that ain't ugly. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a lot of gumbo, ain't it? What did I tell you this morning? Go big or go home. This morning we got with Brent Eason and his bunch of guys and we teamed up. We decided to go big. And the ducks that he was seeing were high, so we knew we were gonna have to do a lot of calling. We we're gonna have to have mojos out. But anyhow, this morning we got a big spread of feather light decoys out here. We got 11 mojos and we called ducks from 10, 12, 15, three tops high. But it was one of the best hunts I've been on in a year or two. We killed 64 ducks by nine o'clock. You just can't beat a hunt like that. We're fixing to pack them up. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Duck Chatter. I sure hope you enjoyed that footage. Also, the green barred arc timber that we are giving away, once we get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, some lucky fan's gonna win that thing. Look on our Facebook page, and there's a picture of me holding the call up. I'll put it in the video right here. That's what you need to like, share, and make sure you get people to subscribe to YouTube. And if you're not, go ahead and hit that follow button and enter for a chance to win that Green Bolt Arc Timber. Anyway, thank you and have a great day.